The clustering administration feature of GlassFish 3.1 consists of a command line and console interfaces for managing nodes, instances, and clusters. A node represents the software on a system that hosts instances. A node can be managed using either local commands, which require being logged into the node's host, or using centralized administration provided using SSH. This SSH capability replaces the concept of node agents from GlassFish 2. Instances, either clustered or standalone, can then be created on nodes. During this segment, I'm going to show you how GlassFish supports creating nodes, instances, and clusters, and how an application is deployed to a cluster. First, we need to set up SSH so that we can manage our nodes and instances centrally. The command line interface command for doing this is called setup SSH. This is essentially a front end for the keygen tool in setup SSH. The command prompts us for a password, which we enter, and then it creates key files and copies them over to the node that we want to manage. Next, we will install the GlassFish software on that node by using the install node command. We enter in the install dir and the name of the host, and it creates a zip file of the GlassFish software, copies it over to the host, uh, unpacks it, and gets it all ready to run so that we can put nodes on that host. Now we're ready to start up the domain, uh, which we do with the regular start domain command. Uh, that's the same as in GlassFish 3. And next we are ready to create a node. The create node command uh, again takes the install dir that we used previously, and this time we specify the node host, which in this case is IDA S1009, and the name of the node, which is N1. Next, we create a cluster, C1, by using the create cluster command. And after that finishes executing, we will run a create instance command to create an instance within that cluster. The cluster option says which cluster it should be part of, and the node option says which node to create the command on, in this case N1, where we'll create an instance called I1. You can see here the ports that have been assigned for that node, or sorry, that instance. Next, we'll create an instance on the, uh, the local host. Uh, there's a built-in node called localhost-domain1 uh, that can be used to create instances on the same host where the DAS is running. And so our create instance command uh, that specifies that node uh, does exactly that. Now, we have created our instances, so we're ready to start the cluster. So the start cluster command uh, just takes the name of the cluster and it runs effectively runs the start instance command on each of the instances. So now we have our instances running and we'll run list instances to see how that they're working. So this shows us which host the instance is running on, uh, the administration port for that host, uh, its PID, and the state that it's running. Finally, we're ready to deploy an application. I've got a little Hello World application here. We'll specify the target as being cluster C1 and the name Hello. And this command then copies the, the uh, application out to the cluster, uh, installing that application on each of the nodes. At this point, we can go to the web browser and see that the clusters are actually running. So here I've got my web browser. And I'll enter in the name of the host, which is IDA S10-9. And the port is 2880, which is where 2080, where, where uh, the hello application is installed. And there you can see that it's running. So let's also look at the host that we, the uh, instance that we had created on IDA S10-2. And we see that the, the application is running there as well. So we've got our two instances with two applications running on them. So let's look at the console and see how we can manage our uh, nodes, instances, and clusters within the GlassFish console. So, the, so we'll uh, be logged in to the console by going to port 4848. And the first thing we want to do is see uh, that uh, what cluster we've created. So we click on the clusters link. 
And that brings up a cluster page and you can see we have cluster C1 and both instances are running. Uh, all looks good there. We can click on the cluster and get more information about it. It tells us what application, the hello application is deployed onto the cluster and we see the instances. Now we can show how a new instance can be created using the console rather than the command line in in interface. So we enter in a cluster name, or sorry, an instance name i3 on node n1. Uh, and this basically does the same thing as the create cluster, create instance command did, except we're doing it through the console. Let's go ahead and start that instance. Uh, we just click on the instance name and click start, and that instance will be started up. Again, this is using SSH to go out to that node. Now let's make sure that that's really worked. So we go to uh, host 9 again, uh, port 28081, and we can see, yes, our application is indeed running. All right, so let's go back to the cluster page, and we can show how we can manage the cluster from the console. So let's go ahead and stop the cluster. We select the cluster and click Stop, and it'll go out and uh, stop each of those instances that are in the cluster. So there we can see they're all stopped. And now we can go ahead and delete the cluster. And the console gives us the ability to delete a cluster and all the instances in, in it, that are in it just with one step. So now we can see that that cluster is gone. We can go ahead and undeploy our application. Uh, and finally, we can uh, delete that node that we created at the beginning of this demonstration. Okay, so we've uh, cleaned up after ourselves. Our node is deleted, uh, cluster is gone, uh, and that shows how we can extend that we can uh, manage clusters from uh, within Glassfish 3.1.